Hey guys, JK95 here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been busy with school and, and homework and all that fun stuff. But today, I got a story to talk about coming out of Norway. So tonight, in over in Norway, Kongsberg, I think it was, a, a man with a bow and arrow shot and killed five people and injured two others before being taken into custody and he the, the local media over there is reporting him as a white Muslim convert which makes this especially upsetting to me because I'm a white Muslim convert and I and this man does not represent me in any way shape or form Whenever, whenever I see anything terror-related happening in Europe, my first response is usually, please don't let it be a Muslim, because whenever it is, they, they always blame the Quran, Sunnah, and Hadith, and smear their entire religion and deem and demand that all Muslims condemn this, condemn it, and, and they turn the perpetrator into a celebrity for a few weeks which that kind of journalism has been proven to inspire copycats who see all that notoriety that terror suspects get and they're like hey that guy got famous doing this if I can replicate what this guy did tenfold then maybe I'll get famous too it shouldn't work like that but that's how the media operates they, they, they do this shit for the ratings and they know that white American Christians will believe it will believe it without question. Not all, but a lot but a lot of them do. As a as a white Muslim convert myself, I highly condemn this act of barbarism. I'm going to make dua, which means say a prayer tonight for the victims and their families. And I'm gonna live my life as I've as I'm as I'm living it now. And I don't have much else to say. As as a as a convert to Islam, I must say that my life has gotten a lot better since I converted, which is usually the case for most converts. Even though we generally prefer the term revert as as we believe that by converting to Islam we're reverting back to the original Abrahamic faith of Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, etc, etc. But like I, I'm going to keep on saying it, ISIS is not Islam. I'm just going to keep on saying that till you all get it through your heads. The Taliban are, are not the true face of Islam, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab. Those guys combined represent 0.003% of the global Muslim population. And Muslim views of these organizations are overwhelmingly negative. My view of those organizations is overwhelmingly negative. But I can tell you now that if the, that if the guy that if the perp were an Arab Muslim, this would be like all over every major TV screen in the world, and they'd be and he wouldn't have been taken alive. He would have either killed himself or got or got killed by the cops. But I could, but the media is just out of control. If you have, well, I don't have much else to say other than what I said before. So that's gonna be it for a while, folks. Once again, as a white Muslim convert myself, I highly condemn 
the actions of this dude in Norway. It, go it goes completely against my religion's teachings. And and I and this guy does not represent me in any way, shape, or form, and he does not represent other Western converts to Islam in any way, shape, or form. That's it for today, folks. Hopefully, I'll get some more videos out this week or next week since since I have a little bit of a break in between in between classes. But that is it for today, folks. JK95 here. Peace out.